Hello lads and lasses, welcome again to the channel. Uh, on today's video, as part of the comparison videos I propose myself to um, carry out with my uh, small crawlers, today we're going to compare the Easy RC Thunderstorm to the FMS um, Toyota FJ Cruiser. Um, the Easy RC, looking at the transmitter, it comes with a newer um, model transmitters without the ESC. Um, settings um, thingies here so that indicates that when compared to um, the FMS Toyota FJ Cruiser this comes with the older style controls so that is an indication that this particular uh, truck comes with an older version of electronics and if you open the bonnet and you look at the electronics, the motherboard in there, it's a, it's not protected, so it's a, an exposed motherboard. So that is the old version um, uh, ESC combined with the receiver uh, motherboard. Um, having said that, this FJ Cruiser actually has a very good low-end modulation. The only thing is that it produces a, a bit of a winding noise when you go forwards or backwards, um, which is the same thing with the older electronics. Whereas the Easy RC, you can see it's, a, it's now boxed in a plastic box, the motherboard. So that indicates this is the, may not necessarily be the newest um, ESC um, and receiver combined, but it's one of the newest uh, versions. Um, when I tested this car, I was quite happy with a very good low end modulation, probably a bit better than the FJ Cruiser, but the best thing is that it doesn't produce any um, winding noise uh, characteristic of the older um, ESCs. In terms of um, the underpinnings of the car, they both have spring-loaded um, springs, so no oil shock, shocks. Uh, they seem to share the same chassis, however, the uh, Easy RC seems to have a ever so slightly longer um, wheelbase. It's marginal, the difference. Um, the chassis on the FJ Cruiser is metal. The chassis on the Easy RC is made of plastic. So all of this is made of plastic. Uh, the majority of this, apart from the chassis, is also made of plastic. The pumpkins are the same. So I'm assuming the internal gears are all made of plastic as on both models. They both use the uh, 050. Uh, motor and the steering servo is body mounted which takes me to I wanted to correct on the previous video when I analyzed and compared the uh, new FCX 18 uh, LC80 Land Cruiser I did mention that the steering servo was body mounted it's not it's axle mounted similar to the FCX 24 platform so I just wanted to make uh, to uh, repair that um, uh, common. I've only noticed after I've uploaded the video. Um, so that's basically it. The, in terms of ground clearance, they seem to be relatively the same, may I say? More or less, obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna be too technical about it at the moment, I'm not gonna measure. Uh, the only thing that may go against the FJ Cruiser, it comes out of the box with these sideboards. It looks great, um, but I think every, Every one of you that has one of these models will probably concur that um, these are, although they look great, they are a bit annoying when you do a bit of rock crawling because they tend to uh, get the truck um, stuck on uh, rocks or anything like that. So uh, from what I can see on the YouTube videos, the majority of uh, the, these models on us, they, they just take these out. Um, I think for the, for the purpose of the video, I've just decided to, to leave them as it comes out of the box. They both uh, have now um, the stock tires and wheels. The only difference is I've painted these a long time ago. Silver, I think it, it looks better um, with the yellow. I may eventually do the same thing with these. Um, this is my uh, six year old um, car. He loves it. So they, dare I say, they kind of look and feel uh, relatively identical but we'll put them to the test on the um, uh, back roller course and we'll see how it goes. It's been raining um, a lot lately in the UK and I would love to do that now now, but I'm looking outside the window and it continues to uh, heavily rain. So as soon as the rain stops, 
if it stops today, we're gonna um, do the comparison on the back roll of the uh, course and then uh, we'll see how each one of these perform against each other. So that's it, lads and lasses, I'll see you soon. Cheerio. So here we are again. The This is gonna be the first obstacle that we're gonna test the FMS FJ Cruiser against the Easy RC Thunderstorm. We're gonna start with the FMS FJ Cruiser. Again, they're both on their stock, stock mode, stock tires, wheels, and that's pretty much it. Let's see how they both perform against each other. So as you can see, modulation on the FJ Cruise is actually quite good. But these being the old electronics, it just produces a bit of that winding noise. Um, the other challenge today is, yeah, once again, due to uh, rain, the track is quite um, wet. Here we go. That's the first um, issue with the FJ Cruiser is those sideboards. It can be overcome, but you'll notice that they get the truck stuck quite regularly. Now the easy RC. our second obstacle a bit of a, a gravel up and over with a couple of different gates and a an up and over bridge let's see again let's start again with the uh, FJ Cruiser and see how it performs and if it gets stuck or not um, one thing I have noticed that may make a difference on um, some of the turning around of obstacles is that the FJ Cruiser seems to have a, uh, a, a bit of a less turning circle than the um, Easy RC. And at the moment, it is at its max. So that means I can't um, open the steering more than it is. Right. Now the Easy RC Thunderstorm. I think apart from the fact that this is, apart from my driving, obviously, let's start again. This is more of my driving skills than the car's capability. Um, track is a bit wet so it's difficult especially on these timber bits it's quite difficult to um, get these um, standardized to, uh, to grip and they both have the same type of tires so um, I think with a bit of throttle it goes but I found here the um, 
FJ Cruiser, FJ Cruiser's modulation to be a bit better. Yeah, we'll open our third obstacle. Once again, we're going to start with the um, FJ Cruiser. I think this is quite an easy one, to be honest. So I'm going to take the opportunity and see how good or bad is the low end modulation on both models. We're going to start with the FJ Cruiser. So you can see that there's a lot of, it's very good at low end modulation. It just produces a bit of that whining noise. there and then go with the easy RC you can also get very low end good modulation but I think the feel I get from the easy RC is that it's a bit it's a bit more jolty it's a bit more difficult word here. Um, it's a bit more jumpy on the end, low end modulation. I have to press the transmitter's trigger a bit harder sometimes in order to make the car go forwards. It makes it a bit more jumpy whereas I feel I can, I can modulate a bit better on the FJ Cruiser. On this fourth obstacle, we are truly going to test the standardized grip. So this is a bit of a um, broken clay pipe and it's pretty much wet. So we're going to see how good these um, standard tires are. that the standard tires do um, suffer a little bit with grip or lack of it. And it's probably going to be the same thing uh, with the Easy RC. You do get eventually up and over, but you have to uh, push the throttle um, a bit harder in order to uh, get a bit of speed. So we'll see if it's the same situation with the Easy RC. Well, seems to have gone up and over a bit easier, um, the Easy RC. For our next obstacle, I think we're going to truly test um, the ground clearance on both models. Um, I've got a feeling the FJ Cruise is not going to do that great here because of the um, sideboards. I think the sideboards may um, be an obstacle here. We'll see. There we go. may go up and over eventually but those those sideboards do represent a bit of an obstacle it does go over um, if you press the throttle a bit harder it does go up and over again if you do remove the sideboards then it's it's not a problem it gives it a bit of more ground clearance Again, 
you eventually go up and over, um, but you have to um, push the front harder in order to get more speed. Right, now the Easy RC Thunderstorm, let's see how it performs. Same obstacle, we'll try and do the same speed, more or less, it's a bit difficult to judge. And you can see, because the Easy RC doesn't have any sideboards, uh, ground clearance seems to be relatively the same. It gets through the obstacle far easier than the FJ Cruiser did. And I predict that's going to be the same with that corner obstacle there. Although it does get stuck as well. So this obstacle is a bit more challenging. Um, and uh, let's see how these two perform. Again, I feel that the low end modulation of the FG Cruiser um, may be um, a better thing here for these um, low speed uh, obstacles. But you, as you can see, again, those sideboards do get the FG Cruiser in trouble uh, sometimes. Right now, the Easy RC. I don't know why, but I feel that the FJ Cruiser is, is um, better to control at low speed. The, the modulation is slightly better. Again, uh, it may be, a, may be a feeling, but that's how I feel um, on the transmitter. Having said that, the Easy RC Thunderstorm is really one of the best low end modulation uh, 118 trucks out there, to be honest. I think it's based on the um, the fire horse. Um, I think the rear pumpkin just got stuck somewhere. There you go. I think the next obstacle will be a very good challenge for both of these models because um, I'm going to go through that middle gate there, and as soon as I go through the middle gate, I want to turn left, and uh, neither the trucks have good um, turning circles, so. Let's give it a test. Right, get the line right. Again, the sideboards are a bit of a problem. I think you, you're going to notice on the majority of these obstacles, especially the most technical ones that the, the big disadvantage of the FJ Cruiser is the sideboards. So I'm going to try and replicate that same line with the Easy RC. Again, it's my own personal driving skills. Sometimes make a difference for the best or for the worst. There you go. Get a front. Very similarly to the FG Cruiser front pumpkin, got stuck there. But it, it all depends on the line. This is going to be our last obstacle of the test. And I am not sure, to be honest, if um, any of these two tracks will have enough front bumper ground clearance to go up and over that big rock, but we'll give it a try. You may need a um, slight angle on the front tire, like that. Let's see. Now 
of the thunderstorm. There we go. Um, there I say slightly easier. Ever so slightly easier than the FJ Cruiser. So to conclude, in all fairness, they feel relatively similar and they have similar characteristics. Um, however, the FJ Cruiser has the older electronics versus the newer electronics of the EZRC Thunderstorm. I think this is based on the FMS Firehorse because it's pretty much the same, just different colors, um, same specs, same everything as the Firehorse and the Firehorse has the newer FMS electronics. Having said that, even with the older electronics, the FJ Cruiser's low-end modulation is great, very good. Um, comparable, dare I say, to um, the EZRC newer electronics. I just think that the, that, again, that's my personal feel. Um, the low-end, especially when you're trying to go up and over something, um, the low end here is a bit more jumpy than on the FJ Cruiser. Um, the FJ Cruiser, the electronics make that little buzzing noise that some people don't really like it. But at the end of the day, because they are very similar in terms of performance, it will come, it'll come down to your personal um, taste, to be honest. Um, if I had to choose, if I had to put my money on one of these, um, I would go for the FJ Cruiser. But that's, again, that is my personal opinion. I'm uh, a Toyota fanboy. I grew up with all Toyotas. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of um, Jeeps. And in all fairness, I only bought this uh, one out of interest to see what it was, because initially, I couldn't find this uh, available uh, in the UK, so I had to go through AliExpress. So <clears throat> I think it may be just an Asian model uh, rather than European or North American, um, whereas this is available everywhere. Uh, and FMS still um, produces these ones. Um, so yes, um, I would go for that one um, because of the looks and the fact that this is a licensed um, Toyota body, um, that would be my personal preference. Um, may diverge from other people that prefer uh, the Jeep look, um, but it will come down to your personal preference because they are very similar in terms of uh, performance. One little trick, as I mentioned before, if you take these um, sideboards out, the ground clearance will be very similar to um, the Thunderstorm and you will less likely get stuck um, underneath the, um, the chassis uh, with these. They look great, but they help the truck getting stuck uh, more often than you would uh, think. So that's it. This was quite an easy one. I hope you've enjoyed it and um, I'll see you soon.